No Film School's coverage of NAB 2017 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Vimeo, the new home for 360 video. Learn more at vimeo.com slash 360. My Road Reel, presented by Road Microphones. Back with more categories, more chances to win, and over $500,000 worth of prizes. Hey, this is Charles Hain from No Film School here at the DSC Labs booth at uh, NAB Show 2017. I'm here with Adam Wilt. How do you do? Uh, you might know him from AdamWilt.com. You might know him from Pro Video Coalition. You might know him from DSC Labs. And we're here talking about a new calibration tool they have. They've had it out for a while, but it's now expanding into some new areas. So this is the screen line calibration puck. And the way it works, it's not a, a puck like you'd hang up from a X-Ride or something of that sort. It isn't reading the screen and then trying to compute the numbers that it's supposed to be. It's a visual comparison tool. So we're taking our standard uh, chroma match colors, they're the same color bar colors that are on the chroma demand chart and the same grayscale, just arrayed in a radial fashion so it really doesn't matter how big your screen is, it's going to line up. We have behind it a calibrated light source and each control box can have up to six combinations of color temperature and brightness. So in this case we have color temperatures from 5000 to 6500 Kelvin and uh, two luminous levels, 100 nits for standard uh, dynamic range displays and 1000 nits for high dynamic range displays. You'd simply crank up the color temperature and the brightness value that you want. In this case, something like this. Superimpose it on your screen. It's just a handheld puck. You can just drape it over the, the monitor like we have here or have it on stands for a projector. Then using whatever monitor controls you have on this Asus laptop, we don't have any. You would then adjust the background to look just like the foreground, looking straight down the center line and comparing the colors and the grayscale values on the puck to the colors and, and values displayed by your monitor. All right, so obviously with advanced monitors like the Flanders and things like that, you're gonna have some monitor control tools. Are there any laptops out there, maybe like the Razer Blade or anything like that where there are monitor control tools? It's going to depend on the, mon on the uh, monitor manufacturer and the laptop manufacturer, but a lot of them have color calibration panels either in the, uh, in the control panel or in system preferences that you can go in and start dialing these things up. If not, they're often third-party calibration tools uh, calibration uh, software that you can load in that will generate ICC profiles or will allow you to more finely adjust the red, green, and blue values of the display. The advantage of this is this same puck goes from your laptop to your grading monitor to your edit monitor to your screening room projector and the same technology works for all of them. What's the price point? The price point is between around $4,000 to $5,000 depending on the combination of color temperatures and brightnesses you get. Gotcha. And they're shipping now? They are shipping now. All right, Adam. DSC Labs. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk with me. I really appreciate it. So if you're working in a multi-monitor environment, maybe you're a small time post house, you have a projection room, a plasma room, you got your edit rooms, you wanna make sure they all look the same. This is a tool that helps you really visually identify and dial in consistent monitoring from monitor to monitor, which as we all know, is one of the biggest frustrations of being a filmmaker. For No Film School, this is Charles Hayne at NEB Show 2017.